Hello, hello guys. Good morning and uh, we are back for the game 2 ng ating first series. Gaming Gladiators up against LGD. One game away yung Gladiators dito and securing the Grand Finals. Tutugan natin. If ever makakapost pa ba ng game 3 yung LGD, this will be a complete 2-0. So Dark Willow, Five Chaos Knight remain. will be the opening pick for Gladiators and LGD. Look at this, di ba? Control-wise, they really have it. Parang ganito yung ginawang draft ng... Uh, Team Spirit up against LGD uh, nung upper bracket finals. Magnus Elder Titan. Pero yung Magnus ng time na yun is collapse, obviously. The offlane Magnus. Uh, hindi siya yung mid lane. Pero usually LGD, hindi nothing to say nag magnus dito. So possible yung mag mid. Yung nga lang, yung concern for me.
Well, ano naman yung follow up uh, or it's splitter, but they need more. More damage. 10 seconds. Team Spirit lang atay gumawa ng Magnus offlane yun. Like, Five dito talaga siya masyadong pinipick na yung Magnus. Pira lang siya pa-pick and kung ipick man siya a uh, mid lane usually. Dyer's turn to pick. I speak for the trees. Dyer's turn to back. Naga Siren. Ten seconds remain. So Naga Siren has been picked by LGD. Five this will be the safe lane hero. Which is actually good up against Late King, though Adun nga lang yung uh, Regents Carrier, Mjolnir Carrier, so those are a lot of ways to deal with the illusions ng Naga Siren. But again, scaling, LGD, medyo scary din yung uh, hero sila dito, especially pag na-execute nila yung mga big RP. 10 seconds remain. Gladiators, what they want is the early Five dominance. Tignan natin kung kaya ba nila ma-execute yan. Necrophos still available on the pool. And I think okay lang din yung Necrophos data for uh, Gladiators. It is rigging spam. Ah, ang tapa ng kape ng ko yun ah. Anong meron? Kapi tayo guys, sa mga gusto magkapi dyan. Five seconds remain. Dyer's turn to ban. Ten seconds remain. Five seconds remain. Dyer's turn to pick. Radiant's turn to pick. Points away. Angle Deer for the final pick ng LGD. So that's gonna be the hero for NTS, I think. I mean, Magnus offlane. Gagayain nila dito yung uh, Team Spirit. Ten Parang seconds. kakasabi ko lang kanina. Team Spirit lang yung gumawa ng Magnus offlane for this turn. Five now, seconds. LGD doing the same thing. For gladiators, I don't know what's gonna be their option. Na ban out naman na Necrophos. Is there any uh, mid lane hero left for Queen? Uh, maybe Invoker. Parang ayun lang yung okay na hero eh. Na makukuha niya. Choose your hero. Pain. <laughs> the Queen of Pain. <laughs> yeah, I mean, interesting. Nilabas na ulit yung hero ni Queen. Ito yung pinaka hero ni Queen. Talaga. Kinuwa pa to sa mismong name niya. <laughs> Queen of Pain niya. Shoutout ka po pala. Kay uh, Jomar Tangka. Yan. Sinanalo ng Game 1. Gladiators po. Yung panalo ng Game 1. Bossing. So, eto na tayo para sa ating uh, Game 2. And uh, tigan natin if ever makakabawi po ba yung LG. Ten seconds. Five seconds.
So here we go, game number two of our first series. Kina batalaga, you know, go proceed and uh, face the team spirit on the grand finals. Five months will play on LGD. Uh oh, that may have been a mistake. Tips coming out Death for Dirakia. I don't know why. But, uh, let's go. Then speaking of Dirakia, oh, I mean, my kita naman yung dating illusions in Naga Sire. Just 30 seconds now. Three bounded and secured for LG. That's a good start. Even though we're not going to cover the ball. Actually, there will be a hero in the ball. And that will be. I'm not seeing it. Bangalore is dead. I'm going to press the ball on my eyes. Dito yung Queen of Pain. First but secured para kay Celavi. Bottom. Maybe not in the reaction. That can be the next. Back way for the follow up. Tamang pressure. Agad sa Chaos Knight. Grabe down to half HP. Agad dito sa the reaction. Oh, too bad. Medyo... May hirapan sa Dirakyo dito. For last hit zombie. Denied. Hirap po masyadong matulong yung Nature's Prophet sa kanilang living state. Finally goes down. How One on the scoreboard, Queen. Tamang sabayan lang naman na up against NTS. Medyo mahirap. Tango di lang din sa ating mga subscribers of the team. Top lane naman natin dito. Rebeacon for Celery. At ang hero. Okay, it's gonna be a huge trouble. Sprout over to the real one. He goes down. Why? Might be next. Pero po ba silang extra control? Nagamit naman na yung blood game. But again, the damage. This is enough for them to take him out. Double to secure it para kay Tofu. Nakatawi dito yung gladiator. Maybe 
Geht fest, ja. So, di naman mag-overextend dito yung gladiators Pag, uh, sa gauge pa rin naman Pero yung kinagang delikado dito is si Triangio on the bottom lane Angler still goes down in the hands of Kuni So that is huge Tofu, I mean Dr. Celery will be running Echo Stomp connects, but where is the follow-up? Chakra is coming in, Skewer in forward Trout is gone, so naku delikado dito Yung Max is gonna be managed to Wave. I think it's a delicado pa. Planet. Set one deep place in the way. Shan, pero under your one bottom tower, na ikita pa sila dito. Mag-go in. Yung mga yun. Na ito pa na nila sa yung first of all. Planet dead. Dracula is still alive. And shooting for the next target. There is another Jack Wave from the Magnus. Pero under Tango, Ethan. For the Chaos Knight. Wala silang mahagaw pa. Hindi na mapatay yung Chaos Knight right now. Pero on the middle lane. NTS is the one in trouble once more with the Bramble Mace to connect. Down he goes. So many things now for the Kito. Now we're back at the boss. Yes, boss. Shout out to the Kito. Valencer holding on to the Kito. No, 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 no. Kakaroon muna tayo ng pause Para maganda yung nangyayari ngayon sa Gladiators Medyo palugi Hindi nating to say sa kanyang middle Oh, bos, hirap si natin ko sa ID ito. The radiant scan, eager to know Dyer's whereabouts.
the seeds of fortune. Back to the game. Three game in ka lang mga nila dito. And the Y. Delicado mga. Oh, don't mind me. Just a wee fairy going about her business. Ako ba ni Wine? Yung always lang yun, actually. Eh, si Tofu pa rin yung nakakuha ng ulo. Deadshot. Forbidden. for enemies. Oh, the lane. NTS Dito. Oh, my God, this is the man. Dragio found you. Jack Wiggs, Giver, the Alama Abbot, and the Sonic Wiggs committed and yes, dropping a little as well. This is the game for the Pangolier. So only level 6, 9 minutes, level 6 pa lang yung Pangolier dito. Ganun ka ahead. Yung gladiators for this game too. 3k gold advantage. Why? Tama secure lang muna ng watch. Well, there goes another target. Oh. No. 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 Yes. Two down for the Sarabel GD. And the tower to show kaya pa din ang punan. Dyer's bottom tower is in danger. For 10 minutes sa game natin ngayon, for the yung kalamangan, gladiators. Dapat rin man siyang armlet. Ito ang mga contest na sila yung bait ng jungle side ng LGD. Hindi lang ganun, hindi na siya yung ganun kadali na mapigilan yung isang hero like yung mga safe lane na mag-jungle. Kasi sobrang laki ng mapa ngayon eh. Daing jungle na lang yung pwede yung perform man. Oh! Fantastic dodge on the RB new. That is the first time he's going to go for me. Nah, but Spawn did act in the fantastic. To top tower. What? Almost like I'm going to get a GD. Well, new Shockwave Skewer. New fantastic. He's going to drive with me. It's still looking to team while the back of is running. We swing forward, pushes them off. Team is still alive, so we're gonna bring down. I mean, not gonna say down again. This is the part of the other team. Or that. Zero four zero. Para sa pang. Pang ng start.
kada kita na abot ng mga uh, LGD para sa game 2 well finally Chaos Knight dead pero dahil yung minsan nyo hindi ko naman yung nangyari kay Chaos Knight nagkamali siya na armlet tag <laughs> sir na yun yung form sir na yun yung form I won't lie that was unexpected kamali pa nga defuse the pain meron pa nga nga uh, neutral stacks dito si Queen sobrang sulit naman na ito ito yung pinag pain yung nakapag farm talaga Kung kaya, uh, wala naman, kaya pala naman yung item niya ngayon Grabe, effectivity ng hero na to Kaya ko lang nga yung nakakita ulit eh Pero grabe yung naging performance na ito So tignan natin kung kaya bang i-carry ito ng Naga Siren He went for Midas, so ando yung scaling niya uh, Raid King, so this is up, malapit-lapit na lang sa kanyang uh, regions and just carry din to once na naging available yan pwede pwede mag dire diretso dito yung gladiators pero nang ang last game yung mga chaos knight para sa over axe echo saber yung next item choice radiance finally completed para kay yung ace ano pang problem dito yung lg parang dalawa yung uh, carry hero na tanky hero gladiators Another pick of security for gladiators. This Pangolier is not really having a good time. Looking at his network, almost same as the last in profit position five. Position five, na pa rin ito sa pocket. Well, Echo Stop won't be connecting up to open it up to the uh, and uh, looking for the first one. Oh, he's got a bottom lane stop to the first night. Spot it, he got to go. Wait, hang on, he pops the song. Well, wala naman mga yari dyan. We found this is Prophet instead. So, uh, that's going down for the Telegram here. That is huge. For LGD. Pinagidan niyata yung Telegram here. Special next song. So at least medyo nakakuha naman na magandang kill dito yung LG and uh, involved pa nga dun yung Naga Siren so, uh, extra gold so, kailangan na kailangan niya dito uh, maka-catch up I mean maka sama na sa team fight so kailangan niya na makatapos agad yung mga key items niya after getting Manta Style medyo decent naman na yung Naga Siren pero kung uh, sakaling makakuha siya ng next item and uh, dun na naman lalaban natin yung LG Right now, it's the Knight Queen of Pain going for Ags. Ags with Queen of Pain. But you have to have a little bit of Ags. Got those knives. And then the Rift is on. But the Rift is on. And again, it goes back in. Well, the Mama Dama and Kirk split the Rift of Ags. And the upper end, yes, will be backing off. New, in the upper end, he's on the track. Look to their top tower. Hindi siya pwede mag-overextend dito. Ang yan, back of form. Yan lang yung gagawin dito ng gladiator. No hesitation. Sa paggamit ng Sonic Wave. Dahil uh, meron naman sa Arkin Rune. Why? Ado naman yung mobility given ang kanya. Astral Spirit. Ano ba tawag doon? Si Astral Spirit. Ataka kami siya, pero natin yung form niya. Pag-ataw ni Ace, wala na agad buhay yung mga 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 so, wala na siyang gold ulit. The Vizal finally available para sa Pangolier. So, uh, at least ando na yung extra damage sa kanyang Swash Buckle. Laking bagay na rin. Papagin sa Raid King. I will miss my Raid King. Wala pa naman charge yung Raid King. Actually, I think he needs to uh, get a short up. Blink Dagger available na rin para sa Magnus. So, ito na nakukuha na ng LG. Yung uh, mga first key items nila. 
and uh, we're still dealing with Agnes, diba? Tapos merong uh, Elder Titan. Kung oh, ma-execute nila properly, yung kanilang combination. I think kaya pa rin naman naman natin sa team fights. Hindi ganun kadali yun. I'm just starting over to the Astro, but I'm not gonna get Astro to the game there, but the Earth's Glitter is still not enough to get the kill. Nakabuhay pa nga sa Dirac dito. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. 6k advantage para sa Gladiators. Continuing to scale up pa rin naman. Yung offlane hero dito yung parang naging safe lane ng Gladiators based on network. Kaya yung mabilis mag-farm eh. Compared to Chaos Knight, mas mabilis talaga yung raging lalo na kung uncontested siya and uh, meron na rin siyang Radiance. Ang uh, dahil na kasi pang-farm, like yung Radiance for example, yun yung pang-farm niya lalo para mas mapabilis and then meron pa siyang skeleton army na pwede rin uh, mag-take din ng farm. So Myrta, interesting stone for green. Sustain, Aura, yun yung main goal dito. And the Queen! Will be protected by the terrorized Sonic Wave will be used to push back, nothing to say. So, kanina pa nagka-try dito yung LGD and uh, that was the RP use. So, nabuhay pa rin si Queen. That is sad. But at least for the Naga Siren, continues pa rin ang Sonic Wave. Hard to for the next one. And the S has been spotted. And they might be looking to push top lane. Medyo malayo nga lang yung creep wave. So, settling for the jungle. So, yun na lang gagawin ng gladiators. Oh, okay. Nakapag-blink out pa rin naman si Nino. Well, another kill secured. Another death para kay uh, nothing to see. This time, medyo tumatagal na yung respawn timer niya. 40 seconds out para sa Pangolier. And uh, for set naman dito ng Gladiator is yung fortification. Can they continue to push? Maybe not. Uh, medyo risky na rin. Another tier 2 tower and uh, Shockwave. Di nga lang ang tier 2 skewer. And now uh, the counter play begins. But they're taking under the dead shot to keep Mew safe. Sprout won't stop him from skewering his way out. Nagasara is here. The Earth Squitter has been shown also. And uh, Raid King down. So nagamit or na force out din yung reincarnation ng Raid King. So I think for Gladiators, much safer kung uh, mag disengage nila muna sila dito. Level 2 reincarnation pa lang yan. So 2 minutes out. Kailangan mo nilang uh, mag-ingat. Aghanim's completed para sa Queen of Pain. He's going for Yules. Uh, possible counter din yan against Magnus. Kasi kaling nag-initiate siya. Then wala siyang Lincolns or BP. So 8k gold advantage para sa side ng gladiators. Tower is under and the heart finally completed na sa Naga Siren. Time. 
BGB is up para sa Chaos Knight. Neo has been spotted. Couple of right clicks. Abut ba dito si Diracio? Mukha map. Oh, di pa nga nakapag blink out. TP out. Not gonna happen with the Chaos Ball to interrupt him. Down he goes. 30 seconds out to the Magnus. Can they grab Roshan after this? When Phantasm is up, para kay Diracio, it is daytime. Andito yung Roshan sa may region side. Pero mukhang wala silang plano dito. Nature's Prophet, meron siya Solar Crystal. So feeling ko possible eh. Although may hirapan sila kung sakaling malapit yung mga uh, Elder Titan. Yun lang. Pero ito. Pikulit pa rin naman nila. Here they are. With Raking joining in. Yeah, doable talaga. First row, Sean. Might be given to the Dracula. It's not going to be like Carnation Cities. Taking a face, but a bit of 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 a since ay, ganun lang naman naka-build up dito yung uh, heroes ng LG, Naka Siren, yung uh, usually nag-deal ng damage, then bahala na yung uh, 4 teammates niya na uh, mag-control sa heroes ng LGD. Yeah, more on crowd control yung meron dito eh, like Pangolier, Magnus, diba? Kailangan na talaga na makapag-initiate ng maayos, then uh, let the Naga Siren finish the job. For Gladiators, ayun yung kailangan nilang iwasan the RPUs over to Queen. Unfortunately, the dead shot, it won't connect, so there is no follow-up to Seabolt. And that's the RP wasted. Saktong sakto with the Aegis timing and Gladiators. Delicado sila dito. They might go with force. Another objective to push. Possible by mid lane. I think possible yan. Try and tier 2 bottom tougher. Mukhang sabay nga nilang kukunan eh. Fantasm? Oh, hindi naman kang Fantasm. Hindi natin nila. Mug play for Gladiators. Here they go. Song used for Dinakyo, that should be enough to escape. Ooh, munti ka pa si Y. The nine kin ng kalaman ng gladiators ngayon. Pinalo ng game one, gladiators po boss. Ang panalo ng game one natin. Ang gladiators ngayon yung lamang ng game two. Ang delikado yung LGD. They need to step up. Kailangan na magkaroon dito ng magandang initiation. But at least they still have some time. They get their next EI items when they bagay yung ads. The final year for the control. Lalo na sa illusions ng Chaos Knight. Good thing he didn't know na nag-skill dito yung Dark Willow para sa right-click build, di ba? Hindi naman siya yung nag-queued up ng Ags. Pero naman na siya Philosopher's Stone. Mayaman din siya. Fine, make his profit. Fight completed. Going for Ags. Butterfly completed na rin para kay Zero. 
But there goes the team fight. It's finally broke in. Excellent connection to do it. The second drop is probably going to be trouble. The RP hitting two heroes. Urge Beaver has been used. And there goes the Viking Doctor. First time coming great. Connecting on to five. That is huge coming up from Queen. The song will be able to reset things up. But they have the BKB for Ace. Taking out the Elder Titan. And that's the Phantasm used for the Dacho. And they don't have any ultimate left for LG. Now they have the fortifications, the try and the latest, but the counter fortifications used for gladiators. Just trying to keep the creep creep alive. Good and fair. Dead shot over the chaos knife. Down to have already for the Dacko. He's not lasting long. He needs to be careful. This is the Nagasami is too strong for him to deal with. So he has the ages for the Chaos Knight for 30 seconds. Yes, lower bracket finals of the bossing. So nice defense for LGD. Kahit na natin yung strength ng Nagasari. Talagang kaya yung makipag sa bayan eh. And now, ages. 10 seconds left for Diracchio. Bago mag-expire. And uh, we'll be using it. For mentor, pinuha pa nga dito ng LGD. Shot again given to Planet. And Diracchio here will try and take the fight head on. You know, the force up will be able to keep him safe. But they have the BTP. They have the control. The slow. No song for this uh, Nagasari. And we got pushed back with the Sonic King. But it's still alive. And now the Dragon with the Elephant Eve. And taking out the background of Heroes 2. That's because of the LGD. No buyback. And same goes with Shiro, he is out! Now, poten a potential push coming in for the side of Gladiators, they are all alive! No Naga Siren, no Magnus, no Murta, two heroes left to defend this, no fortification also for, for LG. And here they are, fantastic views for the Dactor, he is level 18. The first set of racks to fall. Oh, who went on Dito and uh, Gladiators? Nice roll up for NDS to try and the latest. So, how many people are going to be Gladiators to secure this uh, Miller Axe? Please, what's the time? Oh, who went on Dito? But the Dredge is still going to be in the same way. The Nation still down for 15 seconds. So, they need to back off Miller Axe post standing. So, that is a huge uh, defense for uh, LGD. They managed to protect that Miller Axe. I think it's important for the Link. But a big win secured for Gladiators, no doubt. Now, for that, nga lang yung buyback ng Nature's Prophet. But, uh, Dyer's middle good fight pa rin. 13 chain na yung kalamangan ng Gladiators dito. And for the next Roshan, medyo matagal pa naman, 1 minute and 30 seconds. Bago natin malaman kung magkakaroon ba ng added time, kung ilan ba yung added time. Ayaw ye. Ano na ang plano dito ng LGD? Parang hindi pwedeng walang song yung nag-assign rin. At least kanina nga, wala. I mean, hindi na kanina. Amat din na. Wala pa rin naman tayong uh, true strike. So, nag-dig advantage pa rin naman yung evasion dito with Butterfly. He's going for satisfying sa kanyang next item para sa Exodus Evil. Wala na up against Queen of Pain. Oh, will you himself to dodge the skewer initiation from Mag? Diracchio dito, smoking up. Naman din ng Queen of Pain, actually. Makukuha niya pa yung Shiva's Guard. Delikado yung, ano yun, yung backline heroes ng LGD. Kinatalo nilang talaga dito ng Queen of Pain. Kung sakaling makakasunod pa nga yung Raid King, wala na. GG na yung uh, backline heroes ng LGD. Pwede nila kasi nilang, ano yun, ignore lang muna sa Shiva. Fantastic. Oh, they stunned the real one. But nice glimmering game from Y. That should be enough to keep him safe. So now for that, the Phantasm of Chaos Knight. That's the detection. So farm na lang muna para sa Gladiators. Roshan, sobrang tag out. Nung added time. Almost max out. 2 minutes and 36 seconds. 3 minutes yung max na add time sa Rosh. So, okay, no one yung talent is yung reality rip versus spell immunity. Kaya nyo po maganda yun, parang Oh, yung BDD match is so good, possible. Oh, God, plan it. Delegado mo nga, pero nice. We were back, so you said it. Dito, he walked back to the recent fight. And, uh, nakawatay pa rin naman dito yung, uh, Marta. But same goes with Celery. 
Uh, that should do it. Didn't engage the number of either. So, nalisit na yung uh, the spawn timer. Dito na Nature's Prophet. Nabasek pa na rin to go in. Nakakuha din sila ng kill in exchange. I think okay na yun. So, finally going for Axe yung Blade King. Hindi ko sure kung Axe or Mule nearby yung uh, much better. Seventeen K gold advantage for the gladiator. And for Queen, she was guard completed, going for sight of vice sa kanyang next item. Wala pa rin naman siya shard upgrade. Speaking of shard, meron na dito yung uh, Dark Willow, yung Raid King. At yung dalawa pala naman yung merong shard upgrade. The Dark Willow, uh, speaking of, mukhang hindi siya magka-transition sa Ags build. Meron siyang Void Stone. And I think Sight of Vice yung gusto niyang uh, kunin dito. Okay, first count AOE yung kinuha niya. Hindi naman yung belt ng damage. Pero, decent pa rin naman. Ano bang pwede pa mabuo sa Void Stone? Gold for my foot. So 30 seconds bago mag-spawn yung rush. Tamang ingat lang for LGD. Worthy to like saver up para sa Magnus. Wala pa siyang mags, so hindi pa siya yung ganun kadaling mag-initiate. And for the next lotion, 5 seconds, it will respawn. Nakaredy naman dito yung LGD if uh, magkakaroon tayo ng engagement. But actually, that's going to be Gladiator smoking up this time. Wala pa naman sila side of ice, I think. Ah, 8 or lens yung gagawin pala ng Dark Hill. Oh, new! Saktong sakto yung pag-break out niya. Wow. When nag-break out, kasi nakita niyo yung trance. And sakto rin yung pag-blink in doon ni Ace. Yung umabot yung uh, Regent's damage para ma-cancel out yung blink dagger ng uh, Magnus. It's safe. But now they are grabbing Roshan. After that kill, smoke attack. Well, almost available naman na yung kanyang Aghanim Scepter. So that's gonna be another uh, big factor for getting to fight Drake here. Pinag paplan nuha ng LGD, pero nakaharap dam si Diracchio. He is backing up, but still, gonna pop his BKB to dodge the Steaver from here. Might be a different story kung merong agonist na dito yung Magnus, kasi yung Horn uh, Toss, pero na siya with Stun. Right now, back on final time. Sad for the first time. Pero inabot siya dito ng LGD. So that's uh, ng uh, Gladiators. Another kill security for Gladiators. Harpoon, yung magiging next item choice ng Magnus. And uh, for Celery, finally makukuha na yung kanyang Axe. Nadelay ito dahil nag-buyback siya kanina, tapos namatay siya ulit. Medyo malaki na wala sa Magnus Prophet. The Pangle Leadership is guard sa kanyang next item choice. Goods din naman. Pag sa extra damage na rin yan. And uh, Harpoon. So we do have double damage para sa Raid King. Drag dito, just getting rid of the first, finally MTB is up, so it's nice to deal with the evasion. 
na meron dito yung Naga Siren. Lincoln Sphere completed na rin para sa Queen of Pain. So, good luck sa backline heroes na rin. Hindi na ang DP. Ang kailangan ng DP ng Queen of Pain dito. Lalo na pag level 25 to ah. Magapang kasi ang shard eh, to be honest. Kahit sa damage na rin yung shard, tsaka control na rin. Five minutes to go play for LGD. Dyer's bottom barracks are under attack. Na break pang adi to ni Ace. And uh, no hesitation. Living in forward. Harpoon Skewer back to the tier 3 tower. Medyo madalim dito si Ace. He will die for a second time. Can they help him? Follow up dito sa LGD. So maybe wait for the next reincarnation. Maybe we can find it. Two minutes more. Ba't nung mag-expire yung Aegis ng Chaos Knight? Merta, Maelstrom completed. So possible pa siyang mag-transition sa right fit. Kung tatagal talaga itong gina ito. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Ay pa mag shard ni Queen eh, no? Pa ano lang bagay ni shard si Queen of Pain na rin ako pag nakuha mo yung shard ni Queen of Pain. Lovely siya mag 25. So, two heroes only has their Vibrax. Pero kulang na naman sa gold. Yung ibang heroes dito. Wala namang nag-Vibrax na rin. So, gold lang. So, nakakailangan ko na. So, you're back late. Always the best. I'm starting to drop. Gonna get used. Backline hero, Darby connects to the blast too late. Bertha down, Rolling Thunder together with Song. That is not IGL if you are LGD. You're racing two big openings together with the RP. And now they are just gauging. God eaters, they are ready to push. Still 40 seconds for the ages to expire. Super Edge completed Mara Kishiro. But the Dr. Key ultimates, how can they hold it? They are going inside here for towers. They need to be careful because you have access to the Super Blade. The Dacio. Tries to fight back Shiro, drops inside the Sprout, doesn't have any Grudding Blade, killed off. So Shiro is dropping, and they need to protect him, but they don't have any heal or sustain. The Dakyo got the kill, and that is Shiro out for 70. Game should be over this time. LGB. They are falling apart. Three four is down. That's it. Tier 4 is exposed. GG has been killed. Gladiator is once again going on the grand final, the spirit for a best of five series. What a performance for them. What a classic lower bracket run. Starting from the first round, some lower bracket gladiators. Just a dominance performance. Hanggang lower bracket finals. And now they are back on the grand finals to face Team Spirit. Western Europe and Eastern Europe showdown. Ang magiging Grand Finals natin ngayon, LGD, this game 2, sobrang pangit na nangyari. Especially for NTS, 0-7-0 para sa Pangulir hanggang sa natapos yung game. Wala siyang impact. Sobrang na-shutdown yung uh, Pangulir dito. That Queen of Pain last pick para kay Queen, sobrang nag-pay off for Gladiators. I mean, kala ko naubos na lang hero yung Gladiators dito eh, para sa last pick. But at the end, sobrang ganda pa na nakuha na lang Queen of Pain. So that's it para sa ating uh, first series. Magbabalik tayo dito para sa ating Grand Finals after the short break. And guys, thanks so much for watching and be right back tayo.